Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan here with Too Slick Chris Congo as he prepares for his fight with Echo Esmond. British title fight nonetheless with Echo Esmond on the 21st. Chris, first of all, how you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, brother. I'm all good. I'm all good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, aching from a training session, but you're putting more hard yards in than I am as you're preparing for the 21st, Chris. Um, before before we move forward to that, I just want to reflect a little bit, Chris. Uh, last fight, uh, last year, uh, how, how, do you, how do you feel your last year went? A good year, you know. Got two good wins under my belt. Um, one as a comeback fight against a relatively tough and strong guy. I was surprised how, how strong he was. And the uh, second fight, obviously, against Formella, who no one really looks their best against. But at the end of the day, I got the job done and I won pretty convincingly. So, yeah, it was a good year. The thing I noted after the Formella fight is that you said that you're like on a learning curve at the moment. Uh, you've, 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 linked up with Ben Davis and you're you're, you've Mm -hmm. moved in and you're learning that new or the the teachings from Ben where do you feel you are on the learning curve at the moment Chris uh I I I believe that I've improved a lot since my last fight um just remember me and Ben's relationship is still relatively new you know it hasn't been three four years that we've been together it's literally just actually just been a year really so um, yeah, so it's, it's still relatively new and I'm improving and, and learning on the job. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm trusting the process and whatever he can see that I can't see, I'm making sure I, I try my best to capitalise on it. When you say you're, like, you're, you're seeing and learning and you're improving, if there's, is there a specific thing that you feel that has improved more so or that you could highlight of? Because when we see um, Ben and when he's coaching his fighters, take, for example, Shabazz Masood, he's you know, mm-hmm. settled down the flashy style and kept him down and, you know, working working his punches and to great effect against Jack Bass and Lee Wood, don't need to mention too much about the success he's had with Lee Wood there. How do you feel like, or what part of your boxing game has improved the most under Ben? Uh, I believe my mind, you know. Um, obviously, learning under him, you get to learn and see boxing from a, from a rare view. And I believe um, going going into me being with Ben now, I've learned so much, you know, and I, I believe soon I'll be able to pick up things. Well, I am now starting to pick up things very quickly. But like I said, it's all about trusting the process and I'm, I'm still trusting it and, and believing that it, 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 it's going to work, just like the other names that you said, you know. Mm-hmm. Chris, this is a, when this is announced, this is a fight between yourself and Echo, which has been received very well. I've seen mm-hmm. that online. British title fight, always good fights there. How did this fight come about? Uh, it got put to me and I said, yeah, that's a fight that I want, you know. Uh, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them fights big. It, it, it's a domestic fight, but I believe that both of me and Echo are above the, the domestic level. I believe we're, we're, we're like Europeans. We could go on to fringe world level. And I believe we both will. But, yeah, this is a brilliant fight and probably one of the best fights on the card on the 21st of June. When you look at Echo, and no doubt with Ben Davison and Lee Wiley, you'll study the tape, you'll watch him, and you'll find holes where you can in Echo's game. Uh, what do you see are the areas in which you can have successes against him and build a game plan to beat him on the 21st? I remember Echo is a come forward fighter, so I know one thing, I don't have to go looking for him. He's going to come. He's the engine. Same sort of... Same sort of style as Luther Clay. I didn't have to go looking for him. He brought it to me, you know. So I believe he's going to do the same, try and outwork me. But at the same time, I got a good engine too, you know. You look at my last couple, my last two fights, I got stronger as the fight went on, you know. My first comeback fight of the year, I almost knocked that guy out. If I had two more rounds, I would have knocked him out. Same with Formella. He was all over the place. He was tired. If I had two more rounds, if there was two more rounds in a fight, I would have beat him, knocked him out. So same, same, same thing as Echo. I get stronger late. He gets stronger late. So let's see, you know. But for me, it's all about using my brain in there and being the smarter man. And I know I'm going to do that and become British champion. No doubt about it. 
you feel you've seen that style and that's your bread and butter you're very much capable of dealing that and what what echo brings on the night yeah but like everyone brings different kind of pressure you know echo you've seen him sometimes he's, he's boxed on the back foot as well so i know he's gonna bring a mixture of both but so we're prepared for wherever echo comes you know so we know I remember I was we was on GB together, so I know him very well. I know he can box and I know he can fight, but I know he loves to fight and that's his his main strength. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Have you sparred him before? Yeah, of course. He knows me well. I know him well. We've done loads of rounds on GB together. Mm-hmm. Can you let us in on those? How did they go? Yeah, they were good spars, you know, they were good spars. He knows that for sure. Just remember as well. That was, what, eight years ago, eight, nine years ago. So that was a while back. Mm-hmm. And we've both improved and both changed, you know. So I believe I'm a way better fighter then. than, than I'm, a way, I'm a way better fighter now than I was then. And then on GB, I was still young. I never had my man strength for anything. I, I, I don't believe I was as strong as I, I am now, you know. And I believe, yeah, that this this is the time now. This is this is a big domestic fight, and it happened for a reason. And we're going to see on the twenty first of Jan. Chris, uh, speaking of sparring, I've seen that you've been out sparring with uh, Sully Sissoko, who's a very accomplished fighter. How do you feel those spars have brought you on? Great, great spars, great spars. We done, uh, we done, we done loads of rounds over there. He helped me, I helped him, and we gave each other. Obviously, he was talking to each other after this war. And he's probably one of the nicest guys in boxing, you know. And that, that that's what I'm saying. Look at the kind of spars I've been getting on, you know, very high, high-level IQ kind of spars. And, um, yeah, we're more than prepared for the 21st of Jan. You mentioned the high IQ. Do you feel that's going to be the difference then on you with you, with you and Echo? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. I believe so for sure. You know, I think we've got the game plan um, perfect. You know, we, we we know what his strengths are. We know what his weaknesses are, what what he lacks on. And that's what we're going to capitalise on for sure. Now, listening to interviews from you last year, you were very much eyeing uh, a European title fight. You've gone for the British year. Is that European title fight something you look for after you, from your perspective, beat Echo on the 21st? For sure, that's something I'm gonna be looking at for sure. Um, I, I I can't remember who's gonna be fighting for it now, but we'll probably uh right right now. You know what? Right now, like I said, I, the main focus is Echo. So forget all the talk about this European title. Right now, it's all about it's all about Echo. There's another thing I wanted to mention as well. Fighting in America was on your target list as well. Is, is that still remain too? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, he does want to go and fight in America, but um, like I said, step by step, and this is the first step of two thousand and twenty-three that we're going to take, and it's the British and Commonwealth title. Now, you capture that British title. Um, we've seen Mikey McKinson feature on boxer cards. Mikey, someone you know very well. Does that mm-hmm. is that a a win that you want to get back there potentially in twenty twenty-three too? Yeah, we'll get that back. But like I said, I I, I never want to take my eyes off, off the tough opponent who I have in hand of uh, Echo Essiman. And right now, speaking on other opponents is irrelevant to me. That's fair enough. Chris, I'll just get your thoughts on a couple of other things before I let you go. Uh, first of all, um, Pona Ben, again, I mentioned that I've seen your interviews for you in the past. You mentioned that you'd still want to face Conor Ben obviously he's got the situation pending we'll find out what the result is there but what are your thoughts on that situation and potentially yeah, facing Conor Ben you know what you know what? right now uh, the stuff to do with Conor Ben um, I, I don't speak on it because I let that situation handle it itself you know whatever it is you know let's all just sit back and wait for the results and see how that goes and, and like I said before I've got a big task ahead of me on the 21st of Jan. So maybe after we'll talk about that. But let Conor Ben do what he's doing. Let him sort out his situation. You know, if he's guilty, not guilty, whatever the situation is. I don't know. But like I said in this game, it's a, it's a lonely sport and I focus on myself. And right now, the main focus is the 21st of Jan.
measured response there. Chris, I see you um, a lot around um, Brixton McGill's gym, uh, someone who we know very much well there, being Dillian White. He's potentially going to be taking on uh, Anti Joshua for the second time. Your thoughts on that fight? That would be a good fight. I think it'll be it'll be bigger than the first one. You know, the rematches are always the the big the bigger fights, and I believe it will be a good matchups. So, yeah, hopefully, if it happens, um, we 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 get to see a big a big another big domestic dust up. You know, if you were if you were in the heavyweight division, would you feel like this is the right time to take on AJ, considering the losses and maybe where the mentality is right now, because because of the losses and how he's reactive to them. Uh, probably, but at the end of the day, um, this is this is a fight game. You know, you win some, you lose some, and I think we're at the end of that era of of, of people trying to keep their O's. We want the best fights to happen, and yeah, it's just one of them errors, man. And and I, I'm sure AJ can come back and uh come back on the winning 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 streak and do his thing. You know, so let's see. Chris, bringing this back to you, uh, British title, capturing that title. Uh, when the, when you ask fighters what it means to them, they come up with varied responses. I want to know what it means to you to capture that British title, should you do that on the 21st? Uh, it's one of my dreams. You know, I always wanted to fight and win for the Br- the British title. Um, I've been meaning to fight for this title for a long time, you know. Um, two years ago, I had an eliminator for it that got pulled out. Um, all I've ever wanted to do was was win a domestic title, you know. And the good the good thing about this is this this fight is that like I said, this fight is actually above the domestic level, but it's for a domestic title, which is good. So yeah, I I, I can't wait to win it. And then finally, Chris, tell me then, how does the fight end between you and Echo? Boy, someone's going down, and I'm sure it ain't me. So. That's all I'm saying, and I, I'm coming well, well prepared for this fight. Chris, it's been a pleasure speaking to you once again. Thank you so much for speaking to Seconds Out. Looking forward to a really good fight between you and Echo Esselman. Thank you so much for speaking to Seconds Out. Thank you. Cheers.